I've got a beautiful new reading release from Kelva Plan to share with you today. y'all. I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And I'm very excited to share this new release um, with you from Kelva Plan. It is all about reading. You're going to love it. There's a ton of goodies, including an undated reading planner that we are going to flip through in just a moment. Let me tell you all of the important details. These release on September the 13th, September the 13th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And these are gorgeous. You're going to love it. We're actually going to start with flipping through the planner and then look at the rest of the goodies and do a plan with me at the end. All right, let's go. All right, this is an undated reading planner, like I said before, comes in the beautiful, distinctive Kelva plan boxes that we have all fallen in love with, I'm pretty sure. And it is a gorgeous planner. Let's check it out. So gorgeous cover look. A book is a gift you can open again and again. I think that is so pretty with that peach background. And I totally want to read there. Here is the back and then the insides. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. So Nice. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. It is white plastic discs, as you can see right here. And then we dive straight in. So this is your year to read all the books. That's so cute. And look at that right along the edge. So pretty. Here we go. So you have your book of the month, January through December right here. Yearly overview. So you can read this at the end or fill this in as you go. Favorite book this year, favorite author this year, favorite genre this year. Here's your goal, actual number red, and then you can track each month what you are reading. Oh, you can even color code. That's cool. She has different genres here. You could color these in different colors and then track what you read that month. So cool. Reading challenge, challenge, read a book that this is fun. It takes place in another country, two authors, the author has the same first name as you. That's a cool kind of take on that reading bucket list. Those, I love that she's adding these extra pages in that really help customize the planner. Then here's kind of your tracking book, title, author rating, a few pages of that. Then you get into your month, books open windows to the world. And as always, Kelva plan dividers are beautiful and double-sided, love it. Here's your monthly reading page, monthly reads, reading goals, daily tracker, Books read this month, very cute, very bullet journal like. This month's rating key, total books read this month and favorite book this month. Then you have your monthly layout, a great way to track pages read each day. Maybe you're writing down your book club appointments, things like that. Undated, so you can start this whenever. And then here's your week. So one page per week, not a double layout, one page. Week of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Currently reading, reading goal, weekly habit tracker. All right. So it gives you a place to write down what you read on that particular day. Um, how's your reading goal going? Maybe a quick thought or two about what you read on that day. And then favorite quote. That's kind of a cool. I like how it's compact to one page because I don't know that we all need like a double page spread for our reading each month. But this is a cool thing to kind of keep by your bed, by your bedside. Maybe that you're filling out in the evenings. So pretty. And then it gives you a spot, yes, at the end of each month. I love this. I love this. Well thought out. So you can list your books for the month. And then you have lines at the back. So good. So you don't have to flip to the front all the time. So smart. So each month is going to be set up like that. I have no shelf control. That's so cute. Beautiful. Let's check up all the dividers. There's no such thing as too many books. Absolutely beautiful books because reality is overrated. This is so pretty. I love the images that she chose for this. It looks like this is, is a full 12 month calendar or 12 month planner. So you can start it whenever you can start it in October, November, whatever works for you between the pages of a book is a wonderful place to be. 
so pretty. Bookmarks are for quitters. Cute. I love coffee and books. So true. I think these are gorgeous dividers. I would just use these. You can switch these out and put them in your regular planner if you want. Let's get cozy and read. Oh, I love it. The library is calling and I must go. You guys. Drink tea, read books, and be happy. Oh, it's beautiful. Just one more chapter. I love it. So beautiful. Love the florals. It's hard to be lonely in a world of words. Oh, look at that chair. Yes, please. So great. Okay, then at the back, you have book reviews. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. So you have your book reviews. You can put the little cutout of the book jacket on the front. Title, author, genre, recommended by, start date, end date, rating, and my review. Notes. Awesome. So you have several pages of that right there. And then this one is, says book club, book club schedule, book title, and author, meeting location, and then just the different books. So you can kind of take notes as you go through book club throughout the year. I would imagine that there's enough for a full year, 12 months of book club meetings. So fun, so well thought out. I know we have some avid readers that watch and I think this is just a beautiful way to document a year of amazing reading. So loving the new planner. Let's check out some of the new inserts she has as well. Okay, there are three paper insert packs that are great additions to your planner. The first one is the book club paper pack. Again, that is what we saw here. Let's just double check that it is um, the same kind of deal. It is. It looks just the same as these book club uh, pages at the back. So if you have a ton of book club meetings, maybe you guys read lots each month. Um, that might be something that you want to pick up so you have supplemental pages to add in. Love that. So we have the book club pack, um, book review. Again, this is a supplemental piece that you can add in to extend those pages. Some of them are included within the planner, but if you think you're going to go past that number of books and you really like documenting, um, this might be something you want to pick up as well. Book review paper pack. And then there's a reading paper pack, which I've got to open because I just want to check it out. It's that beautiful stack of books, you guys. Like that is so picturesque. The front or let's see, there's two sets. There's the dot grid paper. It's a very bold dot grid for you to sketch or take notes on with that gorgeous, gorgeous book. Love that. And then the same print, but um, with lines. So maybe taking notes, journaling. That is so pretty. I love it so much. So that is the reading paper pack. Absolutely gorgeous. So all of the new things to like Fill up all of your reading planner. And then, of course, there's going to be two new sticker books, two new ones. We have Botanical Books and Reading Basics Volume 2. We're going to look at Botanical Books. I am just guessing that this one coordinates perfectly with our planner. So let's check out this one out, and then we'll do Reading Basics. Here's Botanical Books, 780 stickers. Starts right on, to, right on with quotes. Um, just one more chapter. I read past my bedtime between the pages of a book is a wonderful place to be. You can't buy happiness, but you can't buy books. And that's kind of the same thing. Beautiful. You have that in black and then you have it in colors that are going to coordinate with the rest of the stickers in the book. Here's some monthly goal stickers, reading monthly goal, reading bucket list, tracker, book log, currently reading, started reading, finished reading, lots of rating stickers, which is fun add in and then in color book review very cute love the colors some functional stickers that you may want to use as you're working in your reading planner again gorgeous colors I'm here for that love beautiful Absolutely. So pretty. Goodness. All right, then we get to, these are on clear sticker paper, all of those stacks of books that I can't even with how beautiful they are. I love, love, love these so much. 
Here's our open books. We have our little journaling sections here. It's such a pretty aesthetic. Now we're getting into office supplies. We're speaking my love language here. The backpack. That's so adorable. Oh, here's your e-reader. That's cute. Again. And my favorite chair in the whole world. With the plants, I love it. It's very pretty. This, you guys, I can't even with that. That is so beautiful. Get two of those. Oh, good. I was wondering. I was hoping there would be a few florals mixed in. Love these kind of reading nooks. So nice. Beautiful. It's so pretty. Ah, love it. I love it. Love it. This is a gorgeous. Gorgeous sticker book. Ah, I cannot imagine picking up the planner without the sticker book. I think they like were meant to be together. That is beautiful. Botanical books. Love it. All right. Then we also have Reading Basics Volume 2. So we're going to start with the same quotes, same as that we saw in Botanical Books. So just a heads up on that. You get two pages of those in black. Same that we saw before. Two pages of these. And then we start to get to functional stickers. Now, I love that she did this. Not all of us need a whole reading planner, but many of us love to create reading pages for our planners. So maybe we're just wanting to pick up a paper pack in these stickers, or maybe we just like decorating our spreads with reading themes. That works as well. So we're going to see some different colors pop up here. And then some different beautiful graphics. Look at the retro kind of feel. This is like the Jetsons a little bit with the shapes. That is bright and fun. So cute. Oh, I love that one a lot. A little more pastel-y. I like that the book reviews are there. Look at how cute. Read books, drink coffee. Check. Books and tea. Those are cute. Let me get into these. This coloring. Fun. The little bobby socks. Those are adorable. Loving it. All book related themes. Oh, those pastels are very nice. Like a muted light color. Gorgeousness. Love. Oh, very cool. I like that one too. Beautiful. Totally gives you reading vibes with the neutral. Love. Love. That's cute. With the socks. Shh, I'm reading. Those are gorgeous. They're just really pretty stickers. And then some pretty ones at the back. Good things come from reading books. It's a good day to read a good book, to read a book. Books are my love language, books and coffee. These are all in clear, by the way. And then a repeat of that page. So that is Reading Basics Volume 2. Then we have Botanical Books. Then we have all of the goodies, you guys. So much goodness. All of these release on September the 13th. Don't miss out. I think these are gorgeous books. I think this is such a well thought out planner. Heather always does a great job. So I'm not shocked at all. Very, very, very cool. All right, let's do a plan with me. It isn't often that a custom planner spread request from one of my patrons happens to match up with a beautiful new release, but that is what happened this month. Sweet Cheryl requested a book theme and she requested that it not be neutral and that it be colorful. And so I felt like this was absolutely perfect. I'm going to decorate a horizontal layout for her. This is a traditional horizontal layout, no extra checklist or anything. You can find this in all three planner sizes over in my shop. Cheryl uses the venti size and she uses this as her creative journal. So that's how we're going to set it up. 
Now, I'll be honest, I had some issues with that big sticker. I should have been a little bit more careful putting it down when you are doing really big stickers like that. Um, you should start from one end and very slowly place it down um, all the way from top to bottom or bottom to top. Um, I kind of put it down horizontally along the long edge and that was not the best choice. I think it's still going to work. I think it is still really pretty over there. It makes a huge impact on the page. Like I cannot even stand how beautiful that sticker is. Um, but just, you know, buyer beware on that. Be careful when you are putting it down. All right, we are adding a little bit of washi tape there at the bottom from Planny Thing. And I wanted to fill in this little space at the top. We're gonna to bring a few florals up here um, and we'll do a little bit more in this area as well um, with washi tape at the top. So I love how the washi tape kind of frames in the whole spread. I love the colors of this release. I think Kell of a Plan, Heather, a Kell of a Plan. She is, she kills it. She does a great, great, great job. Um, so in awe. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful sticker book. Let's go ahead and add washi tape over here as well. I had a little issue getting this lined up. It's like my eyes were like not working. Sorry about my head getting in the way, but I wanted it to be right at the edge for Cheryl right here um, to frame in. Look at me. I'm like having all of the issues. Let's frame in the whole spread. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So my thought for the rest of the spread as I pull out the sticker guides and kind of plan it out, she uses this as a creative journal. I love the stickers that are like the windows and the doors and the reading notes. I just imagine curling up in one of these places to read. And so that's what I'm going to go with in several different places. We have our little reading nook here. I put the window up top because it makes sense that the window would be higher than the nook. I'm just going to see how I can place these kind of scenic um, I'm going to call them scenic stickers. We have our bookshelf over here. Um, a little bit different than just stacks of books. These are like creating little places where she can cozy in and do her journaling, do her reading. Um, and then I'm going to attach boxes to all of those sections. Again, I'm working on top of sticker guides at this point, um, which is awesome because I changed my mind several times on where things would go. So it's really important for me that I work on the sticker guide so I can figure out the placement of all the different things. So you can see I'm trying to figure out um, when you're working with the horizontal spread and you're adding boxes in in kind of um, seemingly random spots, I make sure that it doesn't chop it up so much and leave what I would call in a trapped white space or an awkward space where you actually can't write. So even though at times I use these stickers and the boxes to like cut the horizontal lines in half, there's still journaling space on either side. So she can either journal about two different subjects on the same day or just continue from one side to the other, whatever the case may be. I try to make sure that it just makes sense a little bit. You can see that I am whiting out the days of the week. We are going to pull from Kell of a Plan Dated Basics to um, add those in with a little bit of a different flair. So just made sense. Let's just shift this right here. I know I want to layer another sticker on it. So I'm going to get this down. Again, trying not to divide up the lines in an awkward way. If I bring this one here and bring it all the way up, it actually is going to divide up two sections on that particular Saturday. So two different sections for her journaling. It just, I promise it makes sense in my head. I think it'll make sense to Cheryl um, to divide up where you can write in the different areas. All right, I'm transferring things over, starting to get situated here with the bookshelf. I do need to address the top left. I'm going to bring a box up there. I kind of went back and forth like that blue box. Beautiful. Originally, I was just going to leave it like that, but then I felt like it needed something extra too. I'll come back and address it a little bit more. Quotes were what were on my mind at this point. I need quotes to add in, but before I do that, I need to know where my days of the week are going to be. So let's go ahead and pick those stickers, adding those in over top of our stack of books. And then um, Sweet Cheryl can add in the dates as needed once she's ready to use this particular spread. You know, it's been a hot second since I've used a traditional horizontal spread. I forgot how much I love this layout. I think it is a beautiful layout. It feels 
like a throwback because I feel like all of our planners back in the day when we were students were the horizontal layout, but it's just so perfect for journaling. Um, I, I absolutely love this layout. Okay, I'm going to fill in a little bit of space over here on Sunday. I just wanted one more stack of books with the little coffee cup, teacup right there. And now let's start looking at quotes. Now, I mainly picked quotes because of the shape of the quote, if that makes sense. So for instance, I'm going to grab this one right here. Um, always use your tweezers for those clear stickers when they're not coming off. Um, this one just fit really well in that low space and there's still room to write over the top. I'm picking the quotes based on how they fit in the space because all of these are book related quotes. I don't really have to worry about whether it will fit the theme. It's going to fit the theme. I just need it also to fit the space. So um, we have a book as a gift you can open um, over and over again, or that you can open again and again. Books because reality is overrated. I decided let's add a little nook up here since we're going with the reading nooks, going with like the dreamy places to read. I'm going to lift up the sticker, add our fun chairs over here to fill in the space. And then I'll have to pick a quote that kind of fits in that area as well. I just love, this is a beautiful book, you guys. Like it goes so perfectly with the planner. This is the botanical books. Um, I think you could use this without the planner. I mean, they go so perfectly. I don't know why you would want to use it without, but if you know you're going to do something else with your reading um, journal plans, then this book is just, oh, so breathtaking. I highly recommend it. I think this is a fabulous release um, that I'm pretty excited about. So again, Everything releases September the 13th, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do have my affiliate link down below. It helps me out so much when you're able to shop those links. Doesn't cost you any more, but um, helps out this channel a ton. So thank you so much in, in advance. Um, Cheryl, I hope you love your book spread. I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. I am pretty pumped about it. I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for your support. There is something for everyone over on Patreon, including a free tier. So head on over using the link in the description box and find a tier that works for you. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.